got my fingers crossed. This is gonna be a good trip. I love this boat so much. Oh my gosh, this is good to be out here. Gotta love the friendly flies. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Oh, that is so good. I completely forgot about this bridge. Bugger, bugger, bugger. This is ridiculous, but okay. Whew. Well, on the river at last. It's been two months since paddlers have been allowed on the river. And yesterday afternoon, they opened it up. So I'm out today. Oh God, it feels good to be on the water. So, my first canoe camp in Roo. Doesn't she look pretty? Oh, very excited about this girl. And I thought I'd treat myself to a new paddle. It's a, it's a Werner Kamano, same as my last one, but this one's carbon fiber. To uh, match the carbon trims on Roo. Very, very stable. She's so stable, it's amazing. Compared to a sea kayak of the same length, I almost feel like I could kneel up in this one. But you know what? I don't want to talk right now. I just want to soak in being allowed to paddle <laughs> on my own. So I'm just going to shut up and paddle. just at the entrance to Pipe Clay Creek. I think I saw that I can get around the end of this walkway. And I'm conscious that I don't particularly want to scratch the crap out of my new boat, if I can avoid it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. You yeah, boy. And I can even go around this side of this pontoon line. There's no guarantee the rest of this creek is not blocked up by lots of fallen trees. <laughs> Ripper. However, I got my fingers crossed. This is going to be a good trip. Oh, there are so many mosquitoes around. And I didn't put any mosquito repellent on, so... I think the smart thing to do is cover up as much as possible. Oh my gosh, this is good to be out here. Oh, so good, so good. Oh my gosh. I have needed this so much. <laughs> so good. Ooh, look at all the gum trees, how green they look. Oh, they look so happy. Oh man, you've no idea how happy I am to have just completely avoided a portage. More the point, the portage wasn't worrying me, it was the getting back in that was worrying me. Every bit of Marty Bank is so slippery at the moment. I love this boat so much. Oh my God. Hard to turn, but damn you go nicely in a straight line. Uh, you're not that hard to turn, I just have to learn to uh, edge you. See? It's not so bad. Oh, 
Did you see that? Did you see how I just drifted in a straight line <laughs> without paddling? Oh my gosh. Damn, that's good. Oh man, I can't wait to get out in this boat more often. And the further I'm getting into the floodplain, the less opportunity there is for a decent campsite. So I've just come for a look up this little creek uh, to see if there's any nice high ground that's nice and dry and easy to take out on up here but there doesn't seem to be. I think I am going to have to be resigned to the fact that wherever I pull out is going to suck. It's going to be a muddy takeout. Um, this bit of land behind me and a little bit further down, 500 metres further down, there's another one. These would have been islands in the floodplain when the flood was at its peak so they wouldn't have got totally wet so many birds around here mm, flies gotta love the friendly flies <laughs> not really not much flow in here at the moment which worries me a little bit. I'm thinking that perhaps they've closed the Chowla regulator to keep water in the Chowla floodplain for as long as possible. <laughs> Let's see what this is like. I suspect it's sucking mud. But it might be sandy. Ooh, that sounds like sand. Gosh. All right, well here might do just fine. Let's get out, see how far I sink down. <sighs> hey, all right. <laughs> all right, not too bad. <laughs> um, right, not, not that great either. So I've got my tent nicely shaded there. Although as the afternoon progresses, it is getting more and more in the sun, but it will end up back in the shade. And most importantly, it will be shady for the morning so I can have a sleep in. So there is Rue all tucked up for the night in her new cover. So you can see the ground is still pretty damp but it's dry enough where my tent is and I've also got a tarp underneath the tent and I didn't bother with a tarp over the tent tonight which will certainly help with condensation from below. There are quite a few mozzies around so I've got the thermosel going. This new growth on all of the gum trees is just beautiful. So green and lush.
cheers. Mm. Good way to start the summer paddling season. <sighs> Roo got delivered two weeks ago and I have finally been able to get out for a decent paddle in her, which was just awesome today. It was so nice. There's uh, some greaseproof paper underneath. That, my friends, is almost perfect. <laughs> okay, I reckon that's plenty of butter. Actually, what I might do to start with is do it the wrong way around and put a little bit of water in just to start. Put that over the top. Might help, I don't know. Um, yeah, they're a little bit burnt. <laughs> what I've got is uh, just a mixture of soy sauce and white vinegar. I wonder if it's too late to flip them over and do them. Probably not. <laughs> Now it looks good. Let's see how I get that crispy bit off the bottom. That's so much better with it cooked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that one. Mmm, yum. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Next time, I do have a small nonstick pan that I can bring out that will fit on this stove. Um, that has a lid and I think the lid's important so many birds around I, can, I can't get over how many birds are quite happily flying quite close to me it's because I haven't seen any people for a couple of months probably How good does that look? Yum! It's oozy goodness. <laughs> oh, Rue's gonna have lots of uh, lots and lots of character marks after this, or otherwise known as scratches. Gosh, the flow's going well. That's awesome. <laughs> Those eddies would have spun me around three times by now if I was in Little Blue. Whew, 
which is a hot day today. <laughs> Heaps of rainbow bee eaters out today. It is summer on the river and it's the best time to see them down this end of the river at least. They fly up to Northern Territory during our winter. So it's one of the benefits of coming out in summer. Ordinarily you'd also see a lot of kangaroos and emus along the banks of the river in summer. <laughs> but not this year because there is so much water lying around that they don't need to congregate around the river to be able to get an easy drink. Bird lovers paradise out here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's just so, so wonderful to see all of these gum trees with new lush growth. Just beautiful. Wow, I wonder how fast this was flowing during the peak. There's a lot of debris caught up on the trees. Bugger. I completely forgot about this bridge. So this is the bridge out to lock six and it's at water level. Ah, oh, that sucks. I'm hoping that I can get around it one way or the other. And damn, if I'd come through yesterday, I would have been able to float over it. Ah, how annoying. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Bugger, bugger, bugger. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. And you can see the damage that the flood does to a road, hey? Oh! Oh, that sounds awful. Let's not do that. Okay, I reckon we're pretty good to go sailing again. Got everything? Yep. Whew, wow. That was a nice little half hour interlude. <laughs> introduction to a impromptu portage and also really good to know anywhere that there's a road that's now underwater good spot for a portage because the base is really nice and solid Whew. so I grabbed my lunch out of my bag and I grabbed a nice cold Pepsi out of the Esky. <laughs> You're gonna love bringing an Esky, haven't you? I love the fact that I can bring it with all of my other gear now. 
Oh, awesome. So cheers. Oh, it's a danger with doing these backwaters. Is that there is every likelihood <laughs> that you're going to hit a snag. This is definitely a backwater, and I would say it's not very often wet. I hope I'm not going further out into the floodplain, although. I'm getting close to the Chowler Regulator now, which is sort of where all the creeks come back out into the Murray. Not all of them though. So, um, uh oh, <laughs> this doesn't appear to be joining back up with the creek. It's a fast flow though. Where's it going? It could very well just be cutting off a nice big loop. That doesn't look very clear up there. Okay, let's just keep going, see how we go. Follow the flow. Looks like a nice creek that I can follow. It's two o'clock now. I've got a very close to four kilometers left to travel down to the Murray. Assuming that the Chowler regulator is open, that should take me less than an hour. I've just realized that the Chowler regulator is likely to be at the same level as that that bridge was, which means if there's no dip in the road next to it, I'm going to have to portage again. Yep. She's blocked off. There's no way through that regulator. Okay, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I've put my foam mats, my floor mats out. Just because I think that's going to help. This mud is so thick. It's a... Uh, well, maybe the word is thin because it's. Oh, alright. I've been waking up with the ghost of your hand in mine. <laughs> if your absence is a closeness, your presence is just a lie. Oh, oh, oh. And I ride in speed in cars, looking through the corners of my eyes. Distracting myself in my periphery so that I won't find all of the shit that keeps me up and pulls me through these sleepless nights. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is ridiculous, but okay. But maybe I don't need the answers. Maybe I just need the questions. That was an extremely difficult portage. I'm naked. <laughs> I'm absolutely pooped. I'm floating along really quickly. I'd say I'm averaging seven, possibly eight k's an hour when I do paddle. I reckon I will get into Woolshed by five, just after five. I'm so tired. I'm a little bit heartbroken. <laughs> Rue has got so many scratches now. A little bit sad. It was a very memorable first trip in my new canoe and uh, 
that's it for this trip. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>